If you watched parts 2 and 7 of my series, you'll know how to set up a Google Voice account in FreePBX. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a second Google Voice number that will dial out and receive calls separately from the first account we set up. Alright, the first step is add in an extension for the device. So we have one from before, 201. We're going to add a new one called 202. And let's say it's your girlfriend, so let's put the display name as, you know, Jenny. And this time we're going to put Jenny's phone number instead of yours, and that's going to be 763-555-1011, for example. SIP alias is also going to be Jenny. Outbound caller ID is also going to be the phone number, so we're going to do that. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to add a secret. going to give her a password. All right. I'm going to scroll down, and we're going to hit Submit, Apply. We're going to go into Jenny here. And we're going to set qualify to no. Qualify frequency to 30. And that would be it for this. All right, and then we have to go up to connectivity, Google Voice Motif. And then we're just going to add her information here. Let's do that. Remember, don't add the at gmail.com. We're going to put a phone number, 1011, add trunk, outbound routes, and a voicemail. We're going to hit submit, apply. Now we have to configure her outbound routes. So we go up to connectivity, outbound routes, select her account, which will be the second one. And same as before, we're going to um, add a third pattern here with the plus in the front. Now this is the important part. You have to put her phone number now in these caller ID fields. Three times. All right, and make sure it's selected her phone number as the outgoing route. Submit changes, apply. Now just as an aside, how it determines what your phone number is here, what you enter in this field, is actually in extensions. So that would be right here, CID num alias. Now if you, got, if you type this in wrong, and you go to outbound routes, and you typed it in right here, it's not going to work. It's not going to go through this, because the number isn't going to match. This one isn't going to match the CID num alias in your extension. So those have to match. Now once you got that, we're going to go up to inbound routes. And just as before, you put in the DID number, 1011. Scroll down. Remember, select CID Superfecta. Now you got to choose her phone as the extension here. So in any inbound calls to this number will go to Jenny. You'd hit Submit, Apply. Now at this point, you'd want to enter that information, the extension and the password, into her phone, just like we set up before in CSIP Simple. Set all that stuff up. And you can confirm that it's actually online when she does that by going to your status, your free BBX status, and that's in reports, free BBX system status, and you'll find it right here. You'll see two phones online. Now, to verify that both phones are going through the proper trunks, log into your server through PuTTY. And at the root at PBX command prompt, enter this, asterisk dash R V V V, enter. And here you're going to see diagnostics in real time whenever you make a phone call. So at this point you would make a call and you would watch this window in real time. As seen in the screenshot, my phone, extension 201, properly used my account, while my girlfriend's phone, extension 202, properly used her account. Any additional phones may be added and configured the same way to remain separated by device and number. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. It doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life. With mental fresh and full of life. Nothing gets to you. Staying fresh, staying cool.